Beers and shits. So, you know, like <laughs> that kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> man oh damn yeah yeah no i have a lot of people uh, so it's all, it also sounds a little uh, malayali because uh-huh. uh, uh, gopi is is a malayali name so they think it's gopi gopi or something like that <laughs> so a lot of people get my name wrong they get it confused it's they think it's, it's butter gubbi, chicken right? it's gopi it's not butter chicken it's butter dosa <laughs> butter dosa bro <laughs> damn dude i've just gone to kerala and uh, on my way to like Thiru Anantapuram. Right. Finally, I can say that. Yeah, you got yeah. the name right. Yay. Dude, it's, it's, <laughs> dude, I'm not kidding. You know, I'm like, what do you want to say? I'm like, Thiru, Thiru. Thiru Anantapuram. So I was on my way and like, uh, subay, subay, they have to go to the temple, right? Right. In the morning, so you have to go by a bus and all of that jazz. So we were going to take the bus and he was 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 going to take the bus. Oh, I, yes. bro, and that show was heavy, dude. Like, those are something that I can have, like, like around 10, 15, dude. Oh, okay. oh, oh, oh. oh man, I ate one of my plate, and I was like, dude, nah, man, fuck, dude. <laughs> but, dude, the best dosa I ever had, hands down, like, no doubt. Yeah. Best dosa I ever had. It's, it's like staple food, bro. It's like how you guys have, uh, I think, uh, fulka or chapati, it's, it's like that. My breakfast yeah, yeah, yeah. today was dosa. So. <laughs> but your so like a breakfast dosa is a little different. Right? It's a thicker, it's a thicker version, right? Ah uh, no, that's uttapam. So that is in Tamil Nadu. No, not uttapam. I'm talking about like dosa only, but it's more like a porous dosa, like not like ah, a dosa. It's called set dosa. Yeah, yeah. It's like a roti, right? It's like, <laughs> yeah, it's, like yeah, yeah. it's like it's like idli roti. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Italy, bro. Uh, <laughs> That's the first time I've heard that description. <laughs> yeah, like, dude, you'll hear a lot of stereotypes when I talk to it. So it's <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> but yeah, man, like, okay. Can't wait to start the class, man. Like, 25 people in. I think 25, we should definitely start. There are a few students who've messaged saying that they're in college, they're going to join in uh, sometime, like 15 minutes. Bro, Raja Kumari, if she's male, then her name is Ranjan Kumar. <laughs> <laughs> no. yeah. What's up, Ranjan, bro? Sab log video on karo, yaar. Jisne video on nahi ki, wo nanga I can imagine how your I can imagine how your sessions go, man. <laughs> Aray, dude, we, we have a ball, bro. Like, sab log yahan pe was like everyone. Kal mera sar dukne lag gaya tha, We were just like laughing our asses off. <laughs> no, I only saw the part where you were really strict. And you were like taking Damn, some strip, bro, like, and he's yo. like, "I told you to write a song. You've just written a verse." Galat, galat. <laughs> okay. Hey, yeh galat advertising ho rahi hai. They don't, they don't show you the full picture. They don't show you the full picture. Let's stick to those guys. I'm very chill. Actually, anyway, uh, what's up? What's up? Nox, do you want to get started with the introduction? You want to talk? Anji, anji. Okay, so, um, ma'am, up, up, kar do. Right, kar do. ठीक है सब लोग तो आ गए हैं और हम लोग लाइव भी हैं काफी सारे स्टूडेंट्स ज्वाइन करने वाले हैं लेकिन अभी जो जूम पर है हमारे साथ सो सबके लिए आज हमारे गेस्ट लेक्चर जो है उनका नाम गुब्बी है स्टेज नेम गुब्बी है और उनका अदरवाइज रियल नेम है कार्तिक सुंदर गुब्बी और आप लोगों ने ये कॉन्वर्सेशन अभी सुन ली है कि गुब्बी का मतलब क्या होता है जिसमें मैं जाने नहीं वाली हूँ लेकिन गुब्बी हैज बिन इन दीन सिंस टू और वो रैप बैटल टेक्स्ट रैप बैटल के करते थे उस टाइम पर आशी नॉक्स से आप लोगों ने सुना होगा कि टेक्स्ट रैप बैटल्स करते थे वो लोग बैक इन द डे सो गुब्बी जो है वो रैप करते हैं कनाडा में इंग्लिश में हिंदी में और जर्मन में ये जर्मन वाला सीन थोड़ा डिफरेंट है तो आप लोग <laughs> पूछ सकते हो कि वो कैसे करते क्या करते बिकॉज इट्स अ डिफरेंट लैंग्वेज ना जर्मनी में जो लैंग्वेज है जर्मन जो बात करते हैं उसमें भी वो करते हैं uh, तो आज वो थोड़ा उस बारे में शायद बात करेंगे या आपको पूछना है तो पूछ लेना uh, वो uh, सबने पढ़ा ही होगा जो हमने लिखा था इंस्टाग्राम पे उनके बारे में कि एमिनम और जेकोल से वो काफी इंस्पायर हुए हैं काफी ज्यादा और वो कॉन्शियस रैप से लेकर कॉमिकल uh, कंडीशन भी करते हैं मतलब झूमर तो है ही uh, और ये सारा कुछ वो एक्सपेरिमेंट करते साउथ इंडियन बीट्स पर तो उन्होंने आ, मैं गुब्बी से और या उनके बारे में मैंने एक्चुअली हक से हिप हॉप मारा जो आईटी था मैं तब मैंने देखा था उन्हें और उनके परफॉर्म किया था ना हक से मैं परफॉर्म भी किया था ना है ना या या वाज देयर मैंने देखा भी सो वहां पे किया था एंड वेरी सून वी माइट वी माइट ट्रेन इन बी कमिंग विद 
हिप हॉप हक्से हिप हॉप द सेकंड पार्ट वेरी वेरी स्मूथ उस पे काम चालू है um, तो वहां पे एक्चुअली हमने सुना था इनके बारे में एंड तभी से डिस्कशन चल रही थी कि उनको हम फिजिकल स्कूल पर इनवाइट uh, करेंगे बट जब तक वो सारे प्लान्स मटेरियलाइज होते तो स्कूल अभी थोड़ा कोरोना की वजह से बंद है बट आज जो uh, वो है हमारे साथ तो काफी कुछ uh, अपने जर्नी के बारे में प्लस गुब्बी आल्सो कंडक्ट्स वो अपने रैप सेशंस भी कंडक्ट करते हैं तो वो काफी कुछ नॉलेज शेयरिंग करने वाले हैं तो सब लोग जिनको जो भी पूछना है स्पेसिफिकली लिरिक्स रिलेटेड रीजनल लिरिक्स रीजनल म्यूजिक को कैसे वो लेकर एक्सपेरिमेंट करते हैं बिकॉज गुब्बी हमारे इस सेशन में ना बहुत सारे स्टूडेंट्स ऐसे हैं जो रीजनल लैंग्वेजेस एक्सप्लोर कर रहे हैं रैप में अपनी भाषा में भी करो दूसरी भाषा में भी करो एक ही पे भी मचो and another thing that is also very interesting to me here is uh, uh, nox had recently done 100 bar uh, 100 bars challenge oh nice he was apparently the first one uske baad abhi ek swadeshi ne bhi launch kiya uh, you see that okay 100 bars to matlab pehle bhi kiya hai but like i just put the challenge out for people to just do it like karo tum log nice nice that's all pehle pehle to isne tala anjum ne kiya hai ye sikandar kalo ne kiya hai Right. But they have like just said it like the rules done. So I just made sure that I made it a movement. Like, तुम लोग I just put the challenge out. Had more like more than like two hundred people take part in it, and only forty people were able to complete it, bro. <laughs> yeah, hundred bars, man. <laughs> that's more than a song. <laughs> Dude, that's like that's like discography. Discography is of like most the half of the Indian rap scene today. <laughs> I mean, there is this one student also in our class, uh, Abhishek Roy. He's actually okay. given it an attempt to do it. Uh, okay. He did pretty well. So, yeah, pe na, Gupi, the students who really want to make uh, their presence felt and they really want to make a mark in hip hop. So, over to over to you, over to Knox uh, to take this forward. And of course, our students uh, just is opportunity ka pura advantage uthana. So Gubi, over to you. We can okay. start. Hey guys, hi. Uh, I'm I'm Gubi. Uh, I'm Bangalore. Se hoon. Uh, I've been rapping since, like she mentioned, 2007. Me English me shuru kiya tha. Tab or kut karke ek website tha. Face Facebook ki tarah. Uh, Udar uh, you might have heard about Insignia that there were a lot of uh, rap battles that used to happen. It started with that and. Uh, i did my engineering uh, <laughs> during my engineering that's all i used to do used to write down battle rhymes because we used to have battles every second day every third day so uh, my marks spoke a lot about <laughs> how much i was involved in rap um then eventually i had a different stage name uh, it was carnage with a k so carnage means massacre mass murder so because i was a battle rapper uh, i had kept a name like that uh eventually um i started rapping in canada canada is the is the language um to speak in uh, here in karnataka so uh, you guys i think you would have heard about the language so when i started uh, rapping in canada the nativity uh, really worked people were able to relate like people could understand what i was talking about um then english was always my second nature so i eventually moved to switching between english and kannada so that's the most natural thing for me to switch between english and kannada um and uh, yeah that that's how my whole uh, journey has been so far i've uh, been performing since 2000 i think 2009 can't remember <laughs> so um, i till date i don't type down my lyrics i have a lyric book i always write i'm i'm a fan of Oh, uh, the pen to paper. This is how Canada looks. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Um, I guess I, I'm going to be talking less about myself. I want to be taking more, uh, more questions from you guys. 
um about german i'll just clear that out um i can also speak the language german because i was working with uh, uh with mercedes benz well, i'm also engineer so my car designs kar raha tha uh, but i quit the job almost 2 years ago it's been music full time ever since um so that i had to learn german uh, or um, my my german teacher really encouraged me since i was a rapper she really encouraged me to try and rap in german so that i could pick up the language quicker uh, and it really worked for me uh in fact even for my uh, interview with mercedes benz they made me rap in german for my interview which was pretty crazy um yeah but then it's been music full time since 2 years and i think it's the it's the best decision but uh one thing i always tell people is that you got to pass the test of time because uh for you to be there you know for you to be consistently doing things doing songs doing shows or just keep at it so yeah that that has been my journey uh yeah if you guys have any any uh, i'll probably rap a few lines in kannada so if you haven't heard kannada rap uh, you'll probably get an idea um yeah the song is called freestyle friday it was something which i did for uh, desi hip hop masadu wa bashi kare ke kor se kila satya ban hai na tu pa bhi sus ko kila kanada kanada anta vibrant ko dil adre bashi is bhi ke mar mein maru kisi na 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 kale kale kodi anta ke sun kila kale giro pele pele katta ka kila kale karana kale vita na kale yala kale sounds uh <laughs> and uh, i also rap in english but mostly it's been for me uh, switching switching between the languages because uh, since i started with english rap uh, and there was no reference when i started off as in like uh, there was no starting point where someone could tell that okay this is how kannada rap sounds so i had to start from the scratch it really helped me uh, find my sound uh, because when i used to rap in english since mnm uh, he's he's a heavy influence on on a lot of indian rappers like rappers who have been rapping for long because um he he ha- he was he has been the most popular rapper now that we have so much access to internet uh people listen have the opportunity to listen to a lot more rappers but that time to find songs we had to go to torrents and uh, illegal websites to find Lime these wire, songs bro lime wire lime wire <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> so many. So it was. It used to be difficult to even discover rappers because internet access was less. So I can say that you guys are super, super privileged. You have access to any artist, any song, any kind of lyrics. So I think you guys should make the best of that. Uh, and to learn lyrics, we used to print out lyrics and used to try to learn. And uh, how I fixed my English. pronunciation is so the thing is that when an indian rapper raps in english uh if you try to sound american it sounds very fake so you have to kind of neutralize the accent so it should be a mixture of you know smooth sounding english with that indian accent right so for that again i think two things i would say is very important important is uh, one is practice another one is discipline you have to have a routine do things you know as a routine like there was a time when i wanted to really pick up freestyle rap so i would make sure i rap for at least 20 minutes 25 minutes every single day and uh when you do that you'll realize how freestyle rap starts influencing your flows in your written raps um yeah and practice yeah and you have to keep keep on recording now that you have access to this cell phones i think you can utilize it to the max when you know a lot of people ask me questions like how do i sound better the only way is keep recording keep recording and you have you can record on a simple thing like a mobile phone recorder you don't have to always go to the studio so that um, you can hear yourself more and more and you can start fixing how you sound fixing your flows fixing sounds fixing pronunciations 
Oh, yeah, I think that's it. I think I'll take questions from here on. That's that's something which I wanted to share. Is your good pooch now? Man, dumb motherfuckers, man. Y'all looking at my face right now. Guy, pooch up. I like it. So I wanted to ask, like, uh, what what would be like since you've been in Germany? Um, I'm a little bit interested in the scene there because uh, I was actually studying music in New Zealand the past two years. Okay. And uh, I had a few German friends out there, and I have on occasion uh, bumped across them where they've played German bro. rap. Bro, but... German rap group Snow Goons, bro, is the shiz, bro. I don't know if you all have heard of Snow Goons. Oh, Ubi, no. You know Snow Goons? No, no, man. Damn, bro, German rap group. Listen to that shit, dude. Snow okay. Goons are like, oof. Well, they have the mark cut, jaga, bro. Like, yo, <laughs> yeah, it's it's been a while actually since I wrote or listened to some German rap, but I, I got to check like, that out. Uh, what I wanted to ask was, uh, like, in the instrumentals or like the like music aspect of it, what is like something that is different? is in german like that's in the german scene compared to the rest of the world um i think right now the german scene is into the like really really hardcore rap they and it has a lot of old school sounds they are going into the proper they don't have a lot of uh, native influence i think for us we have the privilege because uh, indian classical music is such a big thing uh, and you have so many different uh, styles in Indian classical itself, like you have Hindustani, you have Carnatic, you have Konukol, you have so many Indian instruments that you can use. But um, okay, uh, someone just said, uh, please help in translation. Okay, I'll I'll try to speak in Hindi. Okay, please forgive me. <laughs> yeah, uh, German rap me, uh, they they focus uh, more on um, the hardcore sound, like old school hip hop, jo hai, uh, waise elements use karte hai. Uh, native instruments utna zyada maine nahi suna hu yeah so basically german german rap like as far as i've also heard like the scene over there uh, german rappers jitne involved hain like 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 gubbi said like it's sare old school hain basically theek hai matlab abhi bhi wo wo purana boom bap sound wahan pe zyada chalta hai rather than the trap sound that's been going on in the entire world german me german uh, countries me it's basically like um, just that ki matlab old school sound hai and flows are very innovative flows bahut bap bap hai theek hai bahut aur and the lyrics as well theek hai like i literally mai actually baith ke maine lyrics ko translate karke baith ke mai padhta hu ki matlab yo kya likha hai i want to know you know right. so like if you all can do that tum log bhi karo tum logo ko mai waise hi bolta hu tum log sunte to ho nahi hai na है ना तुम लोग थोड़ी सुनते हो या आई थिंक आई आई वुड आई वुड डेफिनेटली वो ही सजेस्ट करूंगा कि द मोर यू लिसन द मोर योर माइंड विल ओपन अप लाइक यानी कि फ्लोज व्हेन यू लिसन टू फ्लोज इन डिफरेंट लैंग्वेजेस योर माइंड ओपन्स अप टू दैट पॉसिबिलिटी रिदम की नॉलेज आ जाती है ना मालूम पड़ जाता है अरे ऐसा भी हो सकता है क्या भाई भाई तो तू भी कोशिश करेगा ना समझ रहे तुम लोगों को वही बोलता हूँ कर देगा हूँ <laughs> अच्छा किसी और को कुछ सवाल है क्या किसी को कुछ पूछना सौगात हो देखो कुछ पूछना नहीं अभी नहीं अभी आ ही नहीं रहा क्या पूछू मैं सर से आ ही नहीं रहा पॉटी है क्या भाई आएगी <laughs> आ ही नहीं रहा आ ही नहीं रहा सर जोर लगा रहा नहीं निकल रहा सर क्वेश्चन चीज तो कुछ पूछना है ब्रो किसको कुछ किसको पूछना सर जीत को हाँ जी बोल कुछ सर मैम ने जैसे बताया आप कॉमिकल रैप करते हो तो आप जब लिखते हो तो आपका माइंड सेट क्या लग, क्या रहता है मतलब मैं जब करता हूँ मुझे समझ ही नहीं आता कैसे करूँ तो आप वो कैसे करते हैं जरा बताएंगे ओके okay, यानी स्पेसिफिकली कॉमिक कॉमिकल रैप या uh, जब ओके कॉमिकल रैप तुम फोर्स करके लिखते हो तो वो वर्क नहीं होगा Uh, यानी कि uh, तुम तुम स्लैंग्स लेकर शुरू कर सकते हो यानी कि करंटली uh, मैं एक सॉन्ग पे uh, काम कर रहा हूँ उसका नाम है चिताल पताल चिताल पताल मीन्स रली गॉन लाइक फक्त 
दैट्स द मीनिंग इन कनाडा और वो वर्ड जो है ज्यादा पॉपुलर है अब कर्नाटका में सो इसीलिए तुम वैसे वर्ड्स से शुरू कर सकते हो यानी कि तुम जो फक जो वर्ड है यू कैन यूज इट इन एनी कॉन्टेक्स्ट यानी कि माई एग्जाम वॉज सो बैड आई गॉट फक्ट ओके और मैम आई मेन अ बैड मूड माई माइंड इज फक्ट सो यू कैन जैसे वर्ड्स से शुरू कर सकते हो यानी कि वर्ड्स विच स्टिक एंड पीपल कैन रिलेट टू ज्यादा कॉमन जो है वैसे कर सकते हो वो हमेशा वर्क होता है and you can take uh, incidents around you which happen yani ki uh, in your neighborhood which happens uh, which are funny and which keeps happening you can take or you can take a very political topic and you can do it in a in a sarcastic sarcastic way okay you can try with simple uh, things like that okay sir thank you sir yeah matlab basically wo wo hota na satire rehta hai na ek bahut thin line hoti hai कॉमेडी बनाना और किसी को डिस करने में hmm. समझ रहे हो कॉमेडी और डिस में भी एक बहुत थिन लाइन हो जाती है मतलब वो कैसे चलना है वो अब प्रैक्टिस से आएगा जैसा गुब्बी ने भी बोला कि प्रैक्टिस करो और तुम लोग करते कहो ना क्या बोल या इवन जब मैं क्लासेस लेता हूँ मैं वन ऑन वन रैप सेशन करता हूँ टोटली टेन सेशन लेता हूँ उसमें आई स्टार्ट विद इंट्रोडक्शन टू हिप हॉप देन स्टाइल्स ऑफ बीट्स टाइप्स ऑफ रैप Uh, or uh, I play all different kinds of songs. Yani ki old school. I I start from um, Sugar Hill Gang. If you guys have heard of it, uh, one of the first popular rap groups. Then I start from that, uh, and I come all the way till Travis Scott. Though I'm not a fan of Travis Scott. Um, okay. But <laughs> yeah, like. Or you can sound take. Me so much though, bro. I don't. I don't. I don't get that sound. It's too much for me. So. Yeah, I think someone who's into uh, hardcore rap. Uh, yani ki my my always first preference for me the first preference is hamesha lyrics okay. first thing i look into is lyrics because my background is battle rap so uh, okay. the first thing you're looking for is lyrics then i go into the flow and then i go into uh, how is the sound of the song so uh, awesome. my approach to songwriting hamesha hai ki lyrics top notch uske baad okay i'm dekhenge flows practice se aayega flows automatically uh, it will come to a point where you no longer have to worry about flows but for that practice freestyle i think that's a very 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 good tool freestyle rap uh try different different styles of beat like you can take one trap beat try to freestyle over it take a boom bap beat or you can take a completely different uh beat like um like a techno beat and see how you can freestyle like uh एक एक शो है स्वे इन द मॉर्निंग उसमें फाइव फिंगर्स ऑफ डेथ का ए, एक शो होता है उसमें वो फाइव डिफरेंट स्टाइल्स ऑफ बीट प्ले करके उसके ऊपर रैपर्स को फ्रीस्टाइल करने देता है सो इफ यू सी दैट दे जस्ट स्विच व्हेन द स्विच बिटवीन द बीट्स हैपन इट गोस वेरी वेरी स्मूथ एंड दैट विल कम ओनली इफ यू हैव गुड होल्ड ऑन योर फ्रीस्टाइल्स बाकी लोग बाकी किसी को कुछ सवाल नहीं है सोश तेरे को कुछ नहीं पूछना नहीं किसी को कुछ नहीं पूछना डॉफ तेरे को जो कुछ पूछना गुबी डू यू वांट या नॉक्स यू नो गुबी नाउ वर टॉकिंग ऑन व्हाट्सएप ऑन द लाइक व्हाट पॉइंट्स टू बी कवर्ड तो उसमें आल्सो वांट टू गिव देम एन अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ एक तो योर लिरिक्स राइटिंग प्रोसेस और दूसरा है कि you know the business aspect of it because um, right you came into the scene and then from there uh, currently in the south region from there you started becoming like very popular and then not just um, on the rap part in the hip hop community but you went on to you uh, doing music uh, you know lyrics for uh, bol not yeah for bollywood as well for kannada movies as well yeah so uske baad ki matlab because the, we are you know beginning uh, like right. all are just and it's it's a it's the starting phase of us so how do how can one go ahead about it from a business perspective on commercializing yourself okay uh, so first i'll i'll talk about uh, my lyric writing process uh, usually it is um, a lot of my lyrics is is just random punch lines i mai phone mein wo notes mein punches ke naam pe ek i have a i have a thing called punch lines and all i do is 
कुछ पंच लाइन आता है आई जस्ट नोट इट डाउन लाइक आई कैन जस्ट रीड आउट ऑफ यू वट आई रोट रिसेंटली आई लव के ऑस आई नीड नो प्लान आई एम ब्राउन इनफ आई नीड नो टैन यू गॉट योर गर्ल्स यू नीड नो मैन आई डोंट गेट यू बट आई अंडरस्टैंड सो ऐसा ऐसा पंच लाइन आता है एंड आई कीप स्टोर ऑल दीज पंच लाइन सो दैट वेन एवर आई कैन यूज दीज पंच लाइन एंड इट मेक्स सेंस टू यूज इन अर एप आई यूज दैम Uh, apart from that any topic which really um, really hits me like for example the last song i released was there was police brutality in in tamil nadu uh, and uh, two guys got killed and the moment i i i read about it it just hit hit me so that's one kind of rap songs that i write i just sit down i always now i try to rap uh, try to write my raps to the beat because um, you can really um, fuck with the flows yani ki uh you don't have to think about if my rap is going to fit in music so first i select the music when it comes to topics like that uh and if it's for example if it is conscious rap it's mostly boom bap style of beat right so uh, if you don't have a beat you can take random google uh, on youtube boom bap beat like 90s uh beat or a uh, beat with bpm say 100 bpm boom bap beat i just put that on youtube i start writing to that uh, other songs um if i have to be given a topic uh i research about it like uh, for one of the movies i had to rap about a particular actor right uh, so i sat down i did my research i wrote down all the things about that that actor and then i created the song around it so research is something which you have to do when it comes to topic you uh like just google it start with something as simple as googling about that person you'll find so many articles uh let's say if i have to rap about mahatma gandhi right you can use so much of material you can start from wikipedia just look up read up about him how you want to approach that like i also decide is it going to be storytelling or is it going to be uh, um let's say if i want to take his teachings and i want to talk about it i'll take quotes from gandhi and i'll start including that in raps if i have to do it that way that's another approach you can do uh coming to uh, the second part what she said about uh, the business perspective right i think um always be nice to people always be nice to people and uh, never think that you're better than the other person because any time anyone can can make it any any time anyone can blow up but then that shouldn't be your intention right you should generally be nice to people and talk to people a lot of times people don't start off conversations so you start conversations with people that has always as always always worked for me like i'm generally a very talkative person so i always start the conversation and and as you know in the music industry most of the things work only through people you know and it you don't have to be influential right you have to know people you have to get to know to be get to know people as in uh, not cause you want to make contacts but you should gen- genuinely want to know them as to why they're doing like if i meet a rapper who raps in punjabi tomorrow i would go and do a research about him and try to know about him if i meet a person say from someone from t series right if i want to have a conversation with him i have to know about him right uh, so that should be your attitude try to know about that person or that company or anything and w- with movies um when i started rapping in movies i took everything that came to me i wasn't picky about it right uh, because it started with they were it started with just four lines of rap in one whole movie right it started with that about 10 years ago when i rapped for the, the first movie but i just did it because um rap was not so big uh and also one of the reasons why i switched to kannada was people wouldn't understand english rap but then not that it's not going to work if you rap completely in english you can take brother we for example right he was very sure that he has to he is going to rap only in english but he brought in that smart element of bringing in um indian classical music right so when you are approaching that way right uh you can uh, you will have to think about that aspect as well if let's say you want to talk about a very serious topic but you want to reach people right you have to take into consideration uh the sound of the song like 
is it going to be appealing to people because if you, your intention is to reach out to more people or you're not i'm sure none of you here are going to be like no i'm going to be an underground rapper i don't want to become big i don't want to become famous is there anyone like that any any of you any of you like that no one right so you're looking at reaching people but you don't have to compromise on the art part of it but there's nothing wrong in you know plugging in these things and um ask people who don't understand rap as to what they think about your rap like my biggest critic for me is my ma i go tell her the lines and she'll say this is shit <laughs> directly <laughs> right so ask she doesn't understand rap but then i always take her input or i ask one random friend every time i've written a song or i've recorded a song i send it to that guy and he says that ah this is too much rap maybe you can include some singing vocals here or the music was too hardcore or things like that so asking a lot of random people also helps you in that process of making that song because when you write your own songs right it will become very personal and you will be very strong not to change it but you should be open to change open to change it like for example you can ask noxious like ask him for feedback and if he gives you a very brutal feedback it's a very good input for you you should use it you shouldn't be like ha okay he's just saying it because he's my teacher or he's doing this because uh, he hates me or anything nothing like that always be open to input and you can ask the most random person about it like you've recorded a song you can go uh, ask your neighbor like hey i did this new song you want to listen to it and see if they're going to and also hold on to people who give you honest feedback because a lot of them might actually tell you ah very nice very nice and stuff like that but hold on to people who give you honest feedbacks that is very very important and it will really help and take your time in making a song because um sometimes you come up with songs and you want to really really put it out right but if you're looking at the the business aspect of it like um two month um, i think in may i wrote a song the al- alphabetical rap in canada right so uh, it's it's already been done so many times hindi mein vengeance i think vengeance is the one which krishna did there is uh, blacklicious alphabetical aerobics and then there is a rapper called papus who's done so um when i wrote it i wrote it with like i was like i want to put it out tomorrow but then when i worked on the song i gave it time i finished the song about like two weeks ago we have we brought in so many changes with the song like for example the flow of the song switches in between it goes half time then it comes back to the original flow then it speeds up then it slows down so we did all of that and then with musical elements we used a lot of different different elements we then i wrote an introduction to the song in a a e e till aha and then from k to la is what i did the rap in so all these things i i got all these inputs because i made a lot of different people listen to it and i want to reach out to more people through that like when i know it's a solid song which will work i can't be like ah okay this is alphabetical rap fuck everyone i'm just going to take a normal beat and rap in the same pace and put it out no one's going to uh, no one's going to listen to it right when you're doing something like that when you know a a content is going to work for sure right so then you give it time you run it through different people and then you you know put out the song gopian on that note i also wanted to you know ask you that uh... Uh, so for example one of the student aidman has released a song recently on mental health uh, awareness right and uh, you know the message of the song uh, is that suicide is not an, not a solution to mental health right uh, now that he has released a song what should be the next step should he wait like ideal scenario would be uh, should he wait for another month or so to release his next or what should be the you know post release uh, campaign or idea or process Uh, that usually an artist goes through or yeah in your case what do you do once a song is released how do you uh, capitalize it or make it reach out far and wide or hindi mein bolna okay um i think after the release i share it like with everyone shamelessly uh tum newspapers ko bhejo uh, सब लोग उनका इंस्टाग्राम या फेसबुक पेज होता है ब्लॉग्स या या न्यूज़पेपर्स और पीपल हु आर हेड ऑफ रिकॉर्ड कंपनीज जस्ट कीप सेंडिंग इट और सॉन्ग वर्क हुआ तो 
you can um, give a connective connection to that song to your next song like a connect continuity of that topic or um what i would suggest is wait mat karo work on your next song simultaneously right uh, when jab gap now song so many songs come out every every day hundreds of songs come out every day uh, jab ek song aata hai oh, wo if it makes some noise then um, utilize it use that and ek aur song banao even if it is like within a month gap put out the next song like i love emi way for that i mean see uh, a lot of people might not like emi way for um, no depth in the lyrics or he just puts out some of the songs you don't know but he's so consistent he's so consistent in terms of see no matter what you say he's earning that money he's making so much of noise he's having crazy reach but um he's doing it consistently and that has been his formula for 3 or 4 years now he's just so consistent take what you want from that you don't have to be, be an emmy way fan or if there is an emmy way fan i don't mean to offend you but like but he's he's so consistent he doesn't give a shit who is going to tell what about his songs he's just putting out his songs regularly or you can take a brother we for example what he does quality songs karta hai aur he waits and he works properly on the launch of the song like he put out wine co that was his last release and he got jord indians to be on the video right it's a comical rap so the jord indians are the best in terms of videos who are doing it here in 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 the south right they they popular and he does english rap and they do english content so collaboration with these kind of people was the best move but that's what i'm saying either you can be consistent put content regularly or put one bomb content but sometimes that one bomb content might not work that is when you should let go of it and work on the next one thank you gubbi um i'm just uh, moving on to amen even uh, newspapers kisi ko reach out kiya kuch kiya suna so aap kaise kya karna hai to kuch learning mili hai yes kya i uh मैं रीच आउट करूंगा आई विल रीच आउट आफ्टर दिस सेशन ओके मैं आई विल सेंड देम और आल्सो आल्सो टू अदर रैपर्स उसको भी भेजो जस्ट स्पैम अदर आर्टिस्ट अदर हिप हॉप आर्टिस्ट जस्ट सेंड इट टू देम यू नेवर नो हूज गोना लिसन टू इट यू डोंट हैव या प्लीज सेंड इट टू मी यू डोंट हैव टू थिंक uh too much like uh is he going to listen to it is he going to see it and not respond it doesn't matter like who knows that rapper might like it and he might feature you in his next song yeah that is this is like uh, another good thing you know that we've discussed here because sessions mein to sab aa aa jate hain seekhne ke liye jaise aap gyani ko dekh lo kuch relax mode mein baitha hua hai लेकिन जब एग्जीक्यूशन का आता है ना तो सबको डर लगने लग जाता है एंड देर इज लाइक लॉर्ड ऑफ लॉर्ड ऑफ प्लानिंग 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 करते रहते हैं बट वो बाहर निकालना वो एक है देर इज सम काइंड ऑफ फियर सबको होता है कि ये मेरा गाना एकदम परफेक्ट होगा तो मैं निकालूंगा सब कुछ प्रॉपर होना चाहिए तो उस चक्कर में बहुत देर भी हो जाती है so i think that is what you're trying to tell here right that they should come up with something uh, at least now right now in yeah. the that we all are in like the school students are in the right yeah if i have to talk to with respect to you guys you're just starting off right so be shameless in reaching out to people be sh- absolutely shameless in putting out content even if it is every week you have to put out you have the content you have the capability to write a song in a week put it out right you don't have to think about it has to be the perfect launch because things are different now there is so much of content coming out every day so it's easy for you to be get lost they will forget you easily so if either of the two ways if you have so much of plans then plan it out and execute it execution is is very important so you can do like say plan your plan your plan 3 months of your launch let's say 3 months i'm going to say put out two songs then either i finish both the songs then i release one after the other or i finish one song then i give one and a half months gap then i release another song or um plan out half a year or you want to put out songs 
regularly let think of your own things like you could just go uh freestyle put out just your freestyle songs or you want to do uh you want to take words from people and write songs like let's say you have a decent following let's say you have some 500 people following you on instagram right ask people for words take these words write a verse out of it you find so many free beats on the internet just record it on your phone put it out so when you do such things people will get that connectivity with you ah he took my word so they will be interested to check out that rap you can think of those ways to reach out to people too hi uh me uh so agani this side so mera ye question tha ki first like in starting off i am also thinking like putting out something so abhi mai actually cause abhi mai bat like back and forth ja raha hu with the battles and the music so okay. i don't know i am i am thinking ki first time me i should like stick with the very basic thing but also like should i go like i don't know i am really confused cuz uh, with the thing cuz musicality like cuz there is a lot of music bending like the genre bending thing going on and mm. there is no like particularly like uh, structure there is like structure kafi bend ho raha hai aajkal kafi uh. alag bhi alag ajeeb ajeeb structure hote hain to sometimes you want to stick with the basic structures and thing when i you know it's confused cuz bahut sara aisa naya structure aata hai to you should like it should be like a very gut thing ki aap jaisa jaisa aapke mann mein aa raha hai waisa like chalne do ya fir it's it's like it's okay to have a genre bending and all that thing you should put out like cuz bahut aisa hota hai have you put out anything already or is this your first इससे पहले मैंने एक डाला था उसके उसके अलावा मैं फ्री स्टाइल्स डाले थे एंड मैंने रेगुलरली बैटल की अभी तक तो एंड मैं अब मैं म्यूजिक लाइक कॉज मेरे को म्यूजिक पार्ट ऑब्वियसली आई हैव टू को बैटल्स लाइक हमेशा बैटल्स नहीं कर मैं लाइक बैटल्स नहीं करूँगा ऑब्वियसली म्यूजिक भी डाल रहा तो आई वॉज प्लानिंग टू डू समिंग सो दैट्स um you can bend the genre but gut feeling is the best thing to go with it's and you will get to know unless tum songs release uh, you know until you release the song you won't get to know what is the mentality right uh, you don't stop wasting your time on thinking and planning just put it out you said gut feeling right you get a gut feeling that this is right go with the gut feeling it always works if it doesn't it's okay not like that's your last song Hmm. Right, genre bending. It's a good thing. You will attract people who don't listen to that genre to also listen to it. Makes the structure interesting, but don't break your head over it. How long have you been planning this thing? Like for now, uh, I am. I have thought about it like just a little bit. Like, see the bed. Not too much. See the bed. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Uh, so i was thinking i was thinking like for to maybe one like this month i have like started to think about it cuz in like september mid end mid end and i was writing some songs hmm. i wrote some songs in between jaise wo jab beech mein gap aaya battles ke so i was like 15 din hai to let's write something so i wrote something and i was like mm, it's nice i Wrote something different about different in topics which were I just tried and yeah most times just उधर तो कि कुछ ऐसा डालेंगे कुछ ऐसा mix करके मैं भी बोलना नहीं चाह रहा क्योंकि वो obviously I have something like I I believe in some things which are I don't want to like हाँ you don't have to tell about <laughs> the song I mean you don't have to tell us about the song but keep a target date of the release work backwards. say you want mm-hmm. to release it on november 5th right mm-hmm. so if let's say november 5th is your release date by when mm-hmm. should you have the song or the video ready let's say at least one week so 
then uh, it comes to October 30th or October 29th, you should have the song or the video ready, right? One week before that, what do you need? So plan it backwards, fix a release date, plan it backwards. So then you will get work done. Otherwise, planning, 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 it will go nowhere. Hmm. Fix a release date, start working backwards. And if you're putting out a song, at least create a little bit of hype around it. Let's say you want to release on November 5th, November 3rd or something, you should put a teaser for it. And say October 25th, you release the poster for it. So, but by the time, that's what I'm saying, you have to fix on the release date. Otherwise, it won't go on. But you have your battle thing going on simultaneously. I understand that. That's why I'm saying you should fix on a release date where it is possible for you to release the song. Yeah, I get it. I get it. And I really read the promotion part. I was really reading about it. I read about the Astro World. Like, how he released Astro World. With the promotion stuff he did, and I was really studying ki wo kaise kara tha. like jaise wo usne go, like golden uh, wo usne gates banaye, and he was putting out something, he was telling about something. Even bro, with Kylie Fetal, Jenner, like, Fetal hai, Fetal sab ho jata hai, bro. <laughs> Uske liye usko Kylie hey, Jenner chahiye thi. That was that was the biggest marketing that he did. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> not, not even with the case of Fatal, like Fatal ne abhi jo kiya, like. Usne, jo apne dono, like, so he was he was putting out something something out there like poster nikala uske piche ek photo dala. so i was really to wo, haan, wo ek, ko ek inspiration mila that was like ki, ki photos dalo uske related ek idea likho ki aapka idea kya hai uske piche method, method kya hai. how you connected those songs together and how it is a big thing like See, one, yeah. uh, one person's approach might not work for another person. Like his approach might not work for you. Since you're just starting off, I would suggest don't break your head over it. Marketing, etc. will come later. You focus. See, you're a rapper. Your intention is to put out songs. That should be your primary yeah. focus. Always. Marketing, everything is needed. I agree. But primary focus, writing songs. Make sure the sound of your song is kick-ass. Then think about all that stuff. That should be your secondary option. And again, you have you will under you will have a different market. Like for example, if Noxious is putting out his songs, his kind of followers are different. So different kind of promotion will work for him. If I'm putting my songs, my followers are different. Different kind of stuff will work. So for you to know your follower base, you have to put out songs. Only then you'll get to know. What is that they like? How is that they accept it? Like for some artists, they go live before the release and then they release a song. That works for some people. That might not work for some people. But for that, you should be more of a doer and less of a thinker. Try and test it. Yeah. Try and test it. <laughs> there is one question coming from YouTube. Yeah. One of and has asked a question. His name is Sushant Yatam. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, Sushant. Uh, and he separately sent it to me on WhatsApp as well. Okay. Question is, uh, you know, when you write in Kannada, when you write in Kannada, when you write Kannada lyrics, do you think in English and then write in Kannada? Or how does that work with you? Uh, actually, since it's my mother tongue, I think in Kannada. But uh, my English writing instincts kick in. Like punchlines, I always think of like, and in, in regional languages are always like very uh, rhythmic, like whatever I, I rap now, like Mata Dua Bashe Kali Ke Korate Illa Satya Vanna Helo Tulpa Bebu Tulpa Bella. See, it is, it has regional languages have that sense of rhythm. So I utilize that rhythm sense. You can't do it so smoothly in English. So that's where I have my. My flows are from my English raps, right? But my words are from Canada. And I always sit with the dictionary. The dictionary is here supporting my laptop. But I always sit with the dictionary. And I think in, like, uh, I can't translate my English stuff. But then I, if I can't say it in Canada, I use of the English lyrics. But for a person who uh, 
is starting out with the regional stuff start with maybe reading some books or some quotes in in that regional language or you know talk to people who are good in that language it could be your teacher you could go ask your teacher uh from where do i start off and who knows the teacher might not listen to rap but might give you a kick ass idea to rap about sure i think he is yeah he's watching he is on youtube <laughs> <laughs> Uh, probably he'll start rapping very soon oh i can't wait to hear that <laughs> <laughs> uh so gato you have raised your hand you want to ask something yes ma'am good afternoon sir hey good afternoon i want to ask you that what all things you do extra curricularly to stay proud positive in your songwriting process ah oh, okay that's a good one uh i'm a morning person i get up at 5 o'clock in the morning so i <laughs> a lot of people might be like why? i go to sleep at 5 o'clock <laughs> yeah why what <laughs> now i i used to uh, so it has always been a habit for me i used to play basketball uh, when i was in school so getting up and going for practice was a normal thing so i used to 5 o'clock i get up i do my meditation i do my yoga then i start off usually with either listening to music or start with with that you know or start with writing because what you do okay even if you don't get up so early right you let's say you get up at 10 o'clock right you get up you brush take a shit all that stuff and then you start off and <laughs> then <laughs> 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 after that sleep at 4 okay calm because raat ko shanti hoti hai recording achhi hoti hai kya yeah but start your day with it like start your day anything related to music either listen to some music because what you start your day with is what your mind state is going to be through throughout the day it really really affects it really really matters you wake up like i know all of us have the tendency to wake up and look at the phone i am i'm always logged off instagram before i go to sleep i wake up i don't check instagram for the first 2 3 hours of my day and you have no idea how much that helps because first thing you'll do is you open instagram and you see you'll start comparing yourself to other artists is the most fucked up shit you can do to yourself because everyone will put good content on instagram you'll think everyone is on instagram is happy oh, yeah right but put that phone away and when you start your day with your music or someone else's music or it need not be rap also listen to some feel good morning songs so it it sets your mood for the day or if you want to wake up have a coffee don't read newspaper in the morning i don't read the news at all because off late you know the kind of shit that comes in news too that works or if you're a night person uh like noxious when everything is shut off put your phone away again i think this is this is a very very big culprit i'm telling you put your phone away and focus on your music when it's it's silent sometimes uh, sometimes they work in the night too phone pe rehta hi nahi hai isliye aadhe log mere ko message karte hain unko tension hoti hai ki are reply nahi kar raha hu wala are main online hi nahi hu bhai main kaam kar raha hu mere ko pata hi nahi mera phone kahan pe pade <laughs> yeah when you working putting the phone away really helps but if you're a night person who like no okay i don't know <laughs> not a lot of people might your regular friends who you message in the night might not be awake right so the tendency is you always look at the phone for no reason every 5 minutes you take out and like oh, okay what kya ho raha kya ho raha but put it away when you're working other times do whatever who is there to stop you but when you're working focus on that like surround yourself if it takes time for you to get into that mood listen to a couple of songs right it will get you into that mood like sometimes when i want to freestyle i watch two three freestyle videos and then i'm like fuck i want to freestyle now ah, i want to do that you know that works रोड मैंने डेंसल करी की एल्बम सुनी थी ओके एक रीसेंट एल्बम निकाली आई वाज लाइक नो शिट आई वेंट आई आई फ्रीस्टाइल फॉर लाइक 5 आवर्स स्ट्रेट ब्रो मैं लाइक आई हर्ड दैट एंटायर एल्बम आई वाज लाइक यो बंदा क्या है एंड आई जस्ट लाइक पुट ऑन सम बीट्स एंड शिट लाइक फॉर 5 आवर्स स्ट्रेट आई वाज जस्ट ऑन एंड ऑन आई वाज वॉकिंग तो पहले नीचे 2 घंटे मैं वॉक कर रहा था तो वो कर वॉक करते करते कर रहा था फिर ऊपर आया आई वाज डूइंग एवरीथिंग बीट्स चल रही है साथ-साथ सब पूरा टाइम 5 घंटे के लिए आई वाज जस्ट डूइंग That was the zone it put me in that album in itself. Five hours a day I was just listening. Wow. So, the Kenny Beats wala album. 
पेंसिल का रियन थिंग या 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 कंप्यूटर थिंग या 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 � यूट्यूब के अलावा आपने कैसे ग्रो कर सकते हैं मतलब यूट्यूब पे तो हाँ डाल दिया वीडियो बट आई लिव इन वर्ल्ड राज यार हिप हॉप सीन इज़ नॉट दैट डैम बिग सो हाउ कैन वी कैन ग्रो ट्राइ ऑल द प्लेटफॉर्म्स मेबी डू यू रिलीज़ योर सॉंग्स आल्सो ऑन स्पॉटिफाई एंड ऑल दैट स्टफ नो आई हैड uh see if, um if youtube is working for you use youtube but simultaneously let's say you put out a song on uh, youtube uh, today maybe once the views start dropping then you can put out the song on on instagram right but get it on all, all the uh, uh, all the platforms like gana spotify all that so there are so many websites through which you can put out these songs but do the do that release because now i think spotify and all these platforms are slowly growing in india so you never know it might click you might have some fans who listen to you only on spotify or only on youtube whichever works whichever works is should be the first platform you put it out on and you wait a little bit and then put it out on other platforms but streaming you should release it with the video simultaneously because if someone likes it let's say you put out a song and i'm a guy who listens to gana regularly right um it will come i think you get a notification telling that okay if if you're following just hip hop right it will you'll get a notification that this this is new releases for youtube like i have some okay listen some songs in okay listen they send an email every month telling these are the new releases this month so i go check them out so for a person like that he'll start following you on that platform and every time you put out a song that person will be waiting for your stuff there Okay, okay. Because some people tells me that you have to go to cafe and all that stuff. They are telling that, उधर जाके geek करो and all. Do that. It might work. You don't. It's not a must. Now you can't do that. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, like just yeah. yeah. But if you can get talk to cafes, the tell them that hey, I'll do a free show for you for half an hour. Let's say right. Okay. If they let you do it, do it. And once you do a couple of shows, and if you're let's say you're able to entertain the people in that cafe let's i'm just talking in a situation where there's no covid right yeah. uh, if you're able to get then you can have a deal with the cafe guy like telling that hey listen see now i'm able to give you some kind of followers or some kind of people who come and do this so start pay me a little bit i'll do you so much shows you can always talk it out okay okay thank you sir yeah. and sir you you are telling that freestyle freestyle always help because i also do on instagram live for 30 okay. 30 minutes one hour freestyle is helping out awesome yeah. awesome today we will just do like a quick uh, round thoda sa different karenge hum uh, isi session mein sab log uh, ek ek karke bata matlab share karu ki ek aisi kaun si cheez hai jo aap log ko samajh mein aayi hai ya aap karne wale ho amira se start kar lete hain uh, aaj ke guest lecture session se kya seekhne mila Any one thing could be छोटा सा अज्ञानी छोटी सी चीज बताएंगे एक छोटी सी चीज क्या सीखी हमने अमीरा अमीरा बोलने के बाद मतलब pass on करते जाना just nominate somebody else or let's do like a quick round okay okay no problem एक तो ये कि हाँ freestyle से बहुत कुछ मतलब वो होता है मैंने freestyle अभी चालू किया था पहले नहीं करता तो अब मेरे को भी लग रहा है कि हाँ उससे grow हो रही है lyrically base से grow होता है तो ये काफी अच्छा freestyle वाला session और तो मतलब हर चीज हर हर पॉइंट से सीखने को मिलता है सर जो भी सर ने बोला सब कुछ हर पॉइंट से कुछ ना कुछ सीखने को मिला है एक एक चीज कौन सी एक स्पेसिफिक एक स्पेसिफिक जैसे कि जैसे कि कॉमिकल रैप का भी सर ने बताया था कि तुम्हारा मतलब एक जो वो वर्ड वाला सर ने बताया था वो मतलब काफी अच्छा वो मेरे को नहीं पता था पहले उसके बारे में कॉमिकल रैप के बारे में तो वो मेरे को खास कर इसमें सीखने को मिला मेन चीज ओके नेक्स्ट आज्ञा नहीं ओके सो लाइक यू टेक योर टाइम विद द म्यूजिक बट ऑल्सो लाइक फिक्स अ पर्टिकुलर डेट एंड 
you can put out any wave the music like regularly and also you can have a good drop at like there's no fixed trick and for next i nominate jeet या तो मुझे सीखने को मिला जो सर ने बताया फ्री स्टाइल करने से फ्लो इम्प्रूव होता फ्लो इम्प्रूव होता है तो मैं फ्री स्टाइल करता हूँ लेकिन अपना मतलब टाइम और थोड़ा बड़ा होगा मैं हर रोज करता हूँ थोड़ा थोड़ा फ्री स्टाइल लेकिन उसका टाइम जो है वो पंद्रह बीस मिनट वो ज़्यादा मैक्सीमाइज ज़्यादा करने का कोशिश करूँगा यह मुझे सीखने को मिला और फ्लो के ऊपर फ्लो इम्प्रूव होता है यही सो so, यही मैं सीखा हुआ जो और बहुत कुछ और भी सीखा ये मेन है तो नेक्स्ट आई नॉमिनेट एडीजी सर आपने जो बताया था जर्मन रैप का वो जर्मन रैप सुन के मैं नए फ्लोस सीखना चाहूंगा अभी इसके बाद सेशन के बाद जर्मन रैप सुनूंगा सौगातो इन टूडे सेशन आई हैव लर्न दैट यू शुड बी कंसिस्टेंट एनफ यू शुड डू अ हेल लॉट ऑफ रिसर्च वाइल वाइल राइटिंग अ सॉन्ग और समथिंग एल्स एंड हाउ टू स्टे पॉजिटिव and stay productive in your songwriting process and be shameless to reach out to more people best <laughs> and next i'll i'll nominate uh, dwarf so aaj jo sir ne bola ki religious music ke bare mein to main bhi odia mein karta hu to main ye sikha ki जो हिप हॉप नहीं सुनते वहाँ पे थोड़ा म्यूजिक कैसे रिलीजनल म्यूजिक डाल के ज्यादा लोगों के पास रीच हो सकता है और और भी बहुत कुछ सीखने को लेकिन मैं ये बहुत ज्यादा सीखा कि कैसे मैं इसमें भी अपने स्टेट का जो रिलीजन म्यूजिक होता है उसको डाल के कर सकता हूँ मैं फिर नेक्स्ट होता है जे तो मुझे ये वाला ज्यादा अच्छा लगा जहाँ सर ने बोला की जस्ट गो फॉर इट डोंट वेट क्योंकि टाइम जस्ट goes right it never stops for anybody so just go for it and just post it upload it get feedbacks and just work on yourself and be a better, better person you know mujhe ye wala point acha laga also i'm from bangalore hey what's up what's up nan try maarti idini kannada dal rap maadbeku anta okay i'm like literally stuck with like hindi and english Okay. No, yeah, I mean, fuck, bro. I didn't even know that this guy was from fucking Bangalore, dude. <laughs> fucking Tiger Shroff looking ass, motherfucker, man. I'm talking Hindi. I'm talking to you, sir. Just think about it. Exactly, dude. Their accent is not there. Like that's that's like that's like even more confusing now. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, you can hit me up. You can hit me up, JS. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, if you need some tips, I can help you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nominate करना. हाँ, मैं समर्थ को नॉमिनेट करता हूँ. कितनी बार बोला है समर्थ पे चारा बोल. समर्थ. बोलो क्या नहीं? नहीं बोला उसे. समर्थ बोल 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 बोल. हाँ, तो सर वो M U A का और सर ने वो एग्जाम्पल दिया ब्रोडा वी का. तो वो मेरे को इट्टा हो गया कि या कंटेंट डालना है तो we have to put it within a month. और अगर आपके पास मास्टर पीस पड़ा है मास्टर स्ट्रोक है आपके पास सो यू कैन पुट इट मतलब दो चार महीने के अंदर भी डाल सकते हो ऐसा बट द थिंग विच विल वर्क विद कंसिस्टेंसी विल बी लाइक आपको वो महीने महीने में डालोगे हफ्ते हफ्ते में डालोगे वो अच्छा रहेगा सो दैट हिट मी अप सो तुम तो नॉमिनेट भी तो करके जा चाचा आ आल नॉमिनेट तनिश अनीश कौन है वे? वे नया बंदा है सर सर मैंने ये सीखा कि सर मैंने ये सीखा कि समय निकलता जा रहा है इस जो समय जो हमारा कीमती उसको जाने ना दे हर पल कुछ ना कुछ नया सीखते रहे और मैं सर रोज रैप सुनता हूँ साथ में सर फ्री स्टाइल भी कर रहा हूँ अभी नया हूँ सीख रहा हूँ मैं सर नॉमिनेट करना चाहूंगा अमन को अमन को सर नॉमिनेट करना चाहूंगा फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल थैंक यू सर फॉर गिविंग योर टाइम एंड लाइक लाइक मैं योर साउंड सकअप्स में जैसे कि 
like i release my song now i was quite lazy ki ab kar lenge jab waqt aayega but you thought that uh, we can work simultaneously and saath ke saath kaam karenge to it's good and to reach out we can be seamless and i'll send you my track please let me know your feedback <laughs> yes. yeah that's all thank you thank you चलो ठीक है अभी मैंने खत्म कर दिया तो अब कोई नॉमिनेट नहीं होगा ठीक है साइलेंस साइलेंस हाय सर सो आई रियली लव्ड व्हेन यू वर टॉकिंग अबाउट लिरिक्स हाउ लिरिक्स इज सो मच इंपॉर्टेंट इन अ सॉन्ग एंड सेकंड थिंग लाइक कीप वर्किंग कीप योर वर्क गोइंग एंड दैट कंसिस्टेंसी रीचिंग आउट अदर आर्टिस्ट आई रियली लव दैट थैंक यू सो मच फॉर कमिंग अप Yeah, Now I would like to nominate Rahul Pawar. Hello, sir. So I would like to say that today I had learned that we should have to keep on changing, experimenting in our rap. Like we should not stick to one genre. We should have to keep on experimenting. So this is what I had learned today. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I would like to nominate. Atex. ए एक तो सबसे पहले मैंने ये सीखा कि ऑनेस्ट रिव्यू लेने हैं जिससे भी लेने हैं और अरे ऑनेस्ट रिव्यू लेने नहीं है रे वो ऑनेस्ट रिव्यू वाला मिलना चाहिए हाँ हाँ सॉरी सर सॉरी सॉरी मैं बैंड जिससे लेने ऑनेस्ट लो अरे झूठ मत बोलना झूठ बोलो नहीं सर बहुत लोग कहते हैं अरे बढ़िया बढ और सर मतलब कोशिश करूंगा सुबह जल्दी उठूंगा और फोन अवॉइड करूंगा और हंड्रेड बार चैलेंज चैलेंज जरूर करूंगा सब पास किस पे करूं कौन बचा तनिष्क तनिष्क हो गया रे तुम लोग क्या सारे बेचारे तनिष्क कलाइडो ने बोला कलाइडो चलो Sir, uh, firstly, everything that you said was really nice. And uh, what struck out to me is basically just whenever you're in a room with another person, try and start a conversation because that's something I think I think of one. Yeah. Just connecting with people. Yeah. Vital. Sir, I have learned that. अपना अब अपना बनाए हुआ तो अंकित जी को भी भेजो सबको भेज दो ऐसा शर्माने का नहीं और ये सीखा और का कंसिस्टेंटली सॉन्ग डालो ये मैंने सीखा है आई नॉमिनेट केविन खत्म नहीं हुआ क्या अभी तक चलते आ रहे सर मैंने ये सीखा कि मतलब वही सोचने का नहीं है सॉन्ग्स डालने में डालते जाओ और आपका वो फोन वाला पॉइंट बहुत वो सही था वो भी सीखा थैंक्स शिवम हो गया अभिषेक सिंह हुआ सर मैंने ये सीखा कि शर्माने का नहीं अपना फुलटू करने का काम और टेंशन फ्री होने का मतलब ये नहीं देखने का लिरिक्स पे ध्यान भी देने का और इधर ये भी नहीं देखने का कि क्या लोग बोलेंगे क्या नहीं अपना काम करने का जो बोलने वो बोलने दो फुलटू ओके फुलटू सही बोले अभिषेक सिंह तो मेरा ये है कि हफ्ते में एक गाना जरूर लिखने का है और जैसे सर ने बताया हाउ टू स्प्रिट योर सॉन्ग न्यूज पेपर तो मुझे पहली बार वो पता चला कि ये भी करना जरूरी है और सेमलेस हमेशा बस अपना सोर्स है ना इसके ऐसा दिखता मालूम है अपना जो ग्रफिटी में टेडी है ना हाँ अच्छा निखिल बिन्मी का भाई ऐसा दिखता है सोर्स पूरा देखो शिवम लास्ट ओवर टू यू हेलो सर मुझे भी यही पॉइंट सबसे ज्यादा अच्छा लगा जो कहा कि बिना शर्मा शेयर कर दो क्योंकि मैं है ना ज्यादा सोचता सोचता बहुत हूँ कि मैं करूँ या ना करूँ करूँ ना करूँ तो मुझे लगता है कि मुझे सबसे ज्यादा इस पे काम करना चाहिए कर दे 
Make a broadcast list on the phone. Just spam everyone. Ah, bro, I have legend done it. Who's gonna go through every contact? I'll just make a broadcast list. Make it. I'll do it, bro. The first message I put in my broadcast list is: If you don't want to get these messages, let me know. I'll throw you out of the broadcast list. But you're gonna get up my music updates through broadcast. No, I didn't ask. I'll do it. Yeah. इसको नहीं अच्छा लगेगा मेरे को ब्लॉक करेगा ना यार मर मेरे को नहीं होंगे यू एन यू एन लिस्टन मम्मी उसे गिरा रही है सिंपल तो फाइनली गुब्बी ओवर टू यू व्हाट्स योर इनपुट व्हाट्स योर फीडबैक ऑन यू नो द इंटरेक्शन दैट हैपेंड टुडे एंड द लर्निंग्स दैट यू शेयर्ड एंड प्रोबेबली सम लर्निंग्स दैट यू गॉट टू लर्न फ्रॉम फ्रॉम दी स्टूडेंट्स फ्रॉम द इमर्जिंग आर्टिस्ट yeah i think what i realized is uh they also overthink as much as we artists do <laughs> think that is this going to work i think um uh, doesn't matter which level of artist you are in i think it's the same kind of dilemma that goes on in everyone's head about a song because when you put a song it's something very personal right when you you put your heart and soul in it it's it doesn't matter if it's a guy who started rapping today or who's been rapping for 10 years i think the emotion is the same that's what i realized Awesome, cool, cool. Yeah. So I think we'll end the session then. Is he going to ask you something? No, yeah. Do you want to ask anything? I'm going to ask you. Yeah, I'm going to ask you. You asked me later. 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 पीछे स्पीकर पे लगा के अपना ऊपर इश्क का नशा ढंग से करना उसको रिकॉर्ड और ऊपर से ब्रो मोबाइल पे ना दिस एप्लीकेशन कॉल एज या तो एफ एल स्टूडियो डाउनलोड कर ले नहीं तो फिर एक डी एडब्ल्यू है और एक क्या है यार उसका नाम मैं भूल गया एंट्रैक 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 स्टूडियो डी एडब्ल्यू है उसमें तो ऑडियो रिकॉर्ड कर सकता है लाइक यू नो द सेम वे हाउ नॉर्मल लैपटॉप या कंप्यूटर में होता है तो वो देख ले उसमें रिकॉर्ड कर ले ऑल्डो आई थिंक दैट्स अ पेड एप्स सो दे आर फ्री एप्स आल्सो इन विच यू कैन डू इट वो कर ले एंड लाइक कम से कम ये तो शुरू कर ना बिकॉज़ अभी वही है अभी ऑप्शन ही है कि मतलब फोन पे ही रिकॉर्ड कर रहे हैं सब समझ रहे हो तो अभी वो वैसे करो रिकॉर्ड बाकी सारे भी ठीक है और फ्रीस्टाइल करो प्रैक्टिस करो करते रहो बस या चलो मैं एक क्वेश्चन पूछ लेता हूं ठीक है इसकी मां आई नो नहीं है क्या हां पूछ 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 ले पूछ हां तो कभी-कभी एज एन आर्टिस्ट लोगों का मोटिवेशन खत्म हो जाता है तो हाउ यू कीप योरसेल्फ लाइक वेरी मच मोटिवेटेड व्हेन यू राइट लाइक अह या आई हैड आई हैड अ राइटर्स ब्लॉक 4 इयर्स अगो uh that time what i did was uh, i didn't give up i used to write shit lines but i kept on writing still uh but at the same time i start i tried to listen to a lot of new artists like i think that's when i fell in love with j cole's music because uh of the way his his lifestyle right he's a very simple guy he doesn't overdress he's he's uh, you know is very like straight up with his music you know it's conscious music and stuff like that i think that is what really got me out of my writers block so i that wouldn't have happened if i didn't continue listening to new artists so 2014 is when i actually listened to j cole properly so but don't give up on the writing block even if it's just like say four lines you're getting on a day you wanted to write 16 lines write those four lines it's okay and breaks are important if if you are not able to go forward give that break you don't have to freak out that hey shit i'm not able to write thank you thank you chill maro life mein acche gaane suno alag gaane suno sirf rap pe mat atko yeah 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 so that's that's, that's, a good. Yeah, yeah, that's a very solid point. Point. that's a very solid point actually if you I'm always listening to all different. It it could be old movie songs. If uh, I'll just show you how my yeah, there's a song from Jackpot, and then there is Eminem, and then there is Lil Boozy. So there is 
really really varied playlist and then i have join or then i have some spiritual sound then i have some old kannada movie song so listen to different kinds of music that really helps it opens your mind up yep maza aata hai bro alag alag gaane sunne mein bahut zyada maza aata hai hmm yep theek hai chalo great awesome cool. we thank you so much for coming thank you thank you for having me uh thank you so much dolly thank you noxus thank you all of you and awesome thank you, you samir <laughs> big shout out to samir अरे कोई बात नहीं यार कोई बात नहीं अच्छा एग्जिट करके हंस ओके चलो बाय 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 बाय